So I'm a Fuji fanboy now. Angry photographer was right. He's not angry, he's just disappointed in you for not buying a Fuji camera and wasting your time. So here we are. We're on the X-T3, 10 to 24 mil f4, stabilized lens from my preliminary tests in my bedroom. Don't ask what I was doing. I've come to the conclusion that IBIS is worse than non-IBIS. It's worse. Admit it, right now, this is not terrible, is it? I just have to learn to walk safer. And then it's doable. And then the auto exposure is always perfect. Fuji never lets me down. I think we found it, my friend. The perfect camera is abound us. We got this, we're gonna pit it against the kit lens. Epic B-roll might be coming if a squirrel will accept my peanut. They've been refusing them so far. Snobby. So I want to find out once and for all, is this the perfect lens for the Fuji system or is the kit lens better? Because it does have longer reach, but it's not as wide. Both stabilized. This one has slightly blurrier background with the f2.8. Dare we dream it. Dare we dream it. So let's find out. Let's Fuji our lives up today. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. Okay, so that intro was filmed at 12 millimeters. We're back at 10 now. So this is the widest it gets. I'm holding it, it's on a tripod, but I'm like holding the top of the tripod and it's hanging down, acting as a counterweight for us. Physics and science have united on the channel and we can't believe it. We can't believe the effects. Is it stable enough? Now let's zoom in a bit. Now we're at 12 mil. I feel like it's gonna be slightly more stable, although I just started walking faster for some reason, making everything... I'm trying to pay attention now. I think it's all my fault. This whole time, the stabilization issues, because I've been blessed with a Panasonic camera that can handle mistakes. I can just walk like a scientist. This is how I usually walk with the Panasonic. I'm just walking like this. It's extended fully out there, and it handles it on the 15 mil lens at least, not the wide stuff. We've seen it. Olympus is superior in the wide angle because their digital stabilization actually corrects the warpy shit, whereas Panasonic's digital stab does not. And may I ask why the hell there's no digital stabilization in that Fuji? Fuji. I think that would be the ultimate thing. Fuji, if you're listening, just put digital stabilization, work on it, perfect it, get it GoPro-like for your next X-T4. Can you imagine? We don't need the IBIS. It's not good. It doesn't work. So you keep your camera lighter, put a little digital stab in there, you're good to go. So now we're at 14 mil. I'm curious to see if this is no longer wide enough. We're pushing the boundaries of what can be handheld here. Because technically I could just hand hold this without the tripod. Would that be better? Oh my God, we're gonna try it, aren't we? Okay, now I'm at the widest handheld, literally in the grip backwards. Is it perfect? It's still heavy. The lens is heavy. Oh, what, Fuji? Make a light lens. Oh, there's a squirrel about to bless us. Do you want a peanut? Oh, you look like you do. I don't get these high maintenance squirrels. None of them are taking the peanut. Don't squirrels like peanuts? It's a dollar seventy-five down the drain. So now we're on the kit lens, and I have to fully extend it out because we're at a twenty-eight millimeter equivalent here, and I'm a little nervous now of that stabilization. Ruling a thirds, so hard right now. Can it be done? What if I walk like a Panasonic walk though? That's probably not going to fly on the Fuji system. Lens stabilization, no body. But if we take it easy a notch, with Fuji you slow down to appreciate life. That's the Fuji way. The Fuji assassins in your heart. Let them free. I will say this. This may seem like a minor thing, and I know there's some people who will agree with me on this. Fuji has, hands down, the best lens caps in the game. 
post it down below. Don't you think? They just feel so good. They slip in. Other ones from Canon. I was always worried. Like, am I scratching the lens? Uh, what? Uh, Fuji just... Yep. Boom. Plenty of space here. I won't be able to tell until I get this footage into my laptop and see the shake. See if it's worthy. But that's the only thing missing. I'll be honest with you. I do not care about the flippy screen outside. I'd rather not even notice it. If you can handle auto exposure, auto focus, everything's good. I don't need the flippy screen. I know, I'm pretty well framed right- Oh, that's a lot of shake. That's the only thing you're missing, Fuji. And it's all in the lens. If you just add digital in a firmware update, they probably would too. It's like, oh yeah, we'll put that in there. It's in most of their other cameras, isn't it? Is it in the X-T30? Because if it is, maybe I'll buy that. We're just filming in 1080p here. And it's glorious. It is glorious. We're at 100 megabits per second. I noticed my computer struggles like it's walking upstairs when I try to play that 200 megabit format. It's a little hefty. Just things pause a little bit. In case you're wondering what that distracting noise is in the background, it's just a man waiting to be filmed in an epic B-roll situation. He's just waiting for his shot, and I'm gonna grant it to him. You're doing a great thing there, Henry. I love what you're doing there. I love it. Just please do the whole park if you can. And just continue on for hours. As long as you want. You're welcome here, always. <laughs> if this footage is usable, I have to declare Fuji the champions of the wind. They just, they surprise me. They're so fun. They seem fun. We got the auto exposure dials on top, I can leave them in auto, whichever one I choose. If I want to switch to aperture, priority of the boom, right in there, boom in there. If I want slow motion, I got it on the back, just two presses. Slow mo, up, three, two, select it. Oh, damn you Fuji. The only real question is what lens? What's the perfect lens for the Fuji X-T3 if you don't have a gimbal? Which I'm on my way to pick up another one. We got that Weeble S coming in. I'm gonna test that thing. But, is it the wide angle? Was that better? Or is this better? With a slightly blurrier background, and I can zoom in for B-roll, focusing on squirrels. If I can find a nut that they like. Do they like walnuts? I think they would. I think these might be the only stabilized lenses. The kit lens, and the 10-24, to so you really only have those options. And if I'm being honest with you, I also want that 16 1.4 for at home. So you need three lenses. I'm so excited for this system and then I'm gonna get home and like, oh, it's so shaky and unusable. Like that, I felt that shake. But if I can learn to be smart. Oh, nope, not doing it. <laughs> I mean, it's not like the system doesn't come with flaws. The battery life, although, I just made two videos on my other channel, and now this one, we're still on a battery. So you just need to bring another one, and you're good to go. But I did notice it melts pretty fast. Boiling temperatures over there. But man, if the autofocus is getting me, it seems that it's actually much, much better than the X-H1. I filmed my whole monthly Patreon Q&A on there. You can subscribe down below. I never talk about that on this channel. I just do it every month. I've been doing it for like two years. But I focus it in autofocus. I am that dumb. Oh boy. But it seemed to keep me the whole show. Nothing funny. And when I did hold a plant up to the screen, it focused on it. And I let it go. All you'd really need, if in the studio you need a little monitor or a mirror. I might order one. A clip-on mirror. that just reaches around. Sexually. Oh. I don't like ad revenue, apparently. So let me know what you think down below. Compared to the EM5, God, that thing. There was a lot of Olympus fanboys down in that comment section. Oh, you just gotta change this? What what exposure metering mode were you in? I was like, I showed you it's all blacked out in the video. In the video. You just can't auto-expose. It's probably user error, for sure. But the Olympus reps had no answers for me. I was asking them, like, I can't auto-expose, and they're like... They were photographers. Photographers. Uh, there's a cheetah. 
Oh, what? Shutter speed. A lot of motion blur. We're back on the wide lens, just in case you wanted to see more of the background. Which lens do you prefer? Kit lens or the super wide? <clears throat> I'm going to film a police officer. He's walking faster than me in the opposite direction. It's not going to happen. Walking backwards, but I'm going forwards. But sometimes I go sideways, or maybe in a spiral. He's walking in a circle. The real question is if I was to cross the street, would the Fuji come with me? That's what we need to know. So let me know what you think down below. Stabilization is my biggest concern. If that works out, I might, I might do it. I might dive deep at Henry's. Let's all go to Henry's. <laughs> Thank you so much for the loaner. And I think we're done. We got the Weeble S here. We will review it. Should be more reasonable than the Feutech. I know that thing's designed for like cinema cameras. It was epic, but the heavy, not a vlogging gimbal. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. You like how I didn't bow and crush my eye in the corner of the box? That's skill. That's what you learn as a YouTuber. Tips ahead. <laughs> Alright.